and welcome to another whiskey review on Matt's Cigars and Whiskey. Now, this last week I went shopping in my local Aldi supermarket, made my way over to the whiskey uh, area, and there's a new bottle on the shelves I had never seen before. At this moment in time, it is not even on the Aldi website, so it must have literally just arrived in stores this week. This is the Samuel Joe's Straight Kentucky American Bourbon. Bottled at 40%. It's actually got quite a nice clear coloration to it. It says old special blends matured in white oak casks, straight Kentucky bourbon. It's not a blend. It is an actual straight bourbon, which is very nice. I'd never seen it before. Of course, for £12.49, I had to buy it. Bought it home, as you can see, I've had a couple of drams out of it already. Marketing, when you look at the actual label itself, it does look quite nice. The bottle looks quite nice as well. Nice square type bottle with the old western style writing on the actual bottle as well. Like I say, 40%, it's not going to be blowing anyone's brains out. £12.49. Let's take a look at the actual whiskey itself. Here she is. As you can see, the colour, like a straw type colour, fairly light. To be honest with you, the bottle and the actual bourbon itself, to me, I like to guess where these come from. That looks like a certain bourbon that I had in mind. When I taste it, I will give my thoughts on it and also let you know what I think it matches up to. But it does give off all the signs of being a certain brand. But if you can see that, it's gold, straw type colour. Looks fairly thin. Washes straight off the side of the glass. Very watery. Very, very watery indeed. On the nose. Very sweet molasses type smell. Hint of corn, nowhere near as much strong corn as you get from some of the other bourbons. Obviously it's got to be 51% corn as it is a bourbon. No added coloration to it because it is a bourbon. Bourbons by law are not allowed to have colour added to them. Very like honey molasses slight figs as well there's no burn it's very very smooth on the nose it does a uh, it's, it's a fairly weak smell though it's not hitting me in the face it is very very faint no al no nasty alcohol type smells in there though. Like I say, very sweet, molasses, toffee, caramel, and figs. Smells quite nice, like I say, it's, it's very faint, it's very, very um, soft, so to speak, on the nose, but let's see what we get on the palate. That's very watery. That is extremely watery. Hint of spice, vanilla, slight oakiness to it, brown sugar. Obviously you can taste the corn. It's not a overwhelming um, sweet corn taste in there. It's more slight vanilla, slight oak, but that is super watering. Very short finish. Very sweet. Right, as I said before, you look at the bottle, you look at the bourbon, you get the taste. That to me screams Jim Beam. In fact, yeah, that, that's just that's just screaming Jim Bean to me. It really is. 
nothing else I can really say about it. Bargain basement, £12.49. It's a bourbon, it is a straight bourbon. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's not great either. It's um, very wishy-washy, very watery. Slight oakiness, little bit of corn, maybe a hint of rye on the tongue as well. Maybe that's what I'm picking out. Very hint of, this is what I mean, it's all hints. There's nothing there, there's nothing really punching away on the tongue, there's nothing overwhelming. There's a hint of corn, a hint of rye, a hint of oak, hint of molasses, hint of caramel, hint of some dried fruits, figs, maybe a touch of sultanas or raisins, but it's gone. It just goes and gone. It's very watery, very, very watery. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie, this is a disappointing one from Audi. It really is. I mean, it's one that I can have there. It's My missus could probably drink that. She could probably drink that. She, she, I wouldn't say she hates whiskey. She just doesn't like whiskey. That could be one I could probably give to her in a glass neat, and she could drink that because there's nothing to it. Absolutely nothing. Any, any flavours you get go very quickly. Extremely disappointing. Samuel Joe's from Audi. Bourbon. Out in the market. £12.49. Marks out of 10. Ooh. 3.8. It's a 3.8. I'm sorry, Audi, but you have not produced the usual bargain basement goods that are worth more than what they're being sold at this time. I'm very disappointed in that. Really am, but. You know, some of you out there might like it. By all means, it's £12.49 if you have £12.49 spare. I know with the way things are going in this world at the minute, money may be a lot harder for a lot of people. Um, so it is one, obviously, if you want to buy it and try it, just buy it and try it. But yeah, in my eyes, that'll be in the cupboard. That'll be one that will probably be now be kept for barbecue season when my friends come around. That'll be... Uh, Sorry, lads, that'll be one that's put out on the side for people to mix with the Cokes and um, other mixers, etc. But, yeah. I'll say, if you want to try it, try it. But if you want to subscribe as well, please smash the subscribe button down there. There'll also be another one up there soon as well that'll come up at the end. Smash it, show me your love, hit the like button. If you get this and you try it, give your thoughts on it. By all means, give your thoughts on it. Um, let me know if you think I'm being over the top and over critical in what I think about this but I would much rather have a buffalo trace or a rebel yell or a wild turkey than that but yeah anyway you take care of yourselves that is the end of the review sorry it wasn't as um let me just finish it off sorry it was a disappointment in my eyes but I have to say it the way it is if I buy something and it's not what I think, then I will tell you. I'm not going to sit here and say something's good when it's not. So you take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next review. Cheers.